I will demonstrate F5 distributed cloud DS in action, showing you how easy and quick it is to set up this SaaS delivered authoritative DNS solution. We can deliver both primary and secondary DNS, but I will start by showing you how easy it is to set up this primary DNS option. So let's get started. As you can see, this is the opening services menu of the F5 distributed cloud console. You can see a DNS management section. So by clicking on it, you will enter the DNS section. You can add a DNS zone, which will open the wizard. And in that case, I'm going to start creating this domain. Let's name it example.com. Then I can select whether I want a primary or a secondary DNS configuration. I will select primary configuration and then click on configure to go to the next stage. I can select whether I want to use the default SOA parameters or I can tweak them if needs be. Now I can start adding new resource record sets by clicking on add item. As you can see, you have different types of records that you can choose from. I'm going to select an A record, which is an IP address, and I will enter as record name www. And we'll type 4321 in terms of IP address, IPv4. If I want, I could add multiple IPs. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to create a single one and click on Add Item. You can see that this new record appears in the list of this specific zone. Clicking on Apply will bring me back to the previous page. And then I can create the zone by clicking on Save and Exit. You can now see the zone exists in the DNS zone list. Now let's do a quick test by using the dig DNS utility. I'm requesting for this specific record we just created. And as you can see, this record is here. I told you it was easy. In just a few clicks and with a few inputs, we've got primary DNS set up for our example application. Now let's transition to highlight how you can use F5 Distributed Cloud Services APIs to automate the setup and the management of DNS services and records. Now I'm going to use the API to create and manage DNS zones. First, using the terminal, I'm going to show you the JSON file I'm going to use to create this zone. The name is example2.org. And there is an A record as well as an NS record. Using the curl command, I'm going to post this JSON file, also using an API token. I get an answer from the API, so it seems OK. Now let's check it out using the UI. And you can see that the example2.org zone is now there. I can use the DNS utility to check that the DNS zone answers correctly. And I can also request for the specific A record which I created. And I also get an answer. Now I'm going to use the curl command to list the content of this specific zone. And as you can see, I get an answer. I can see that the zone is active and I have a list of information. I can get the same level of information using the UI by going into the view configuration part. And I have indeed an A record as well as an NS record. Now again, using the terminal, I want this time to delete the DNS zone, which I can do with the dash X delete option of curl if I do that, I get an answer back, which I can check again in the UI. And as you can see, the example2.org zone is now gone. I can again use dig to do the same request as before. And now I no longer have an answer. So it's just that simple with F5 Distributed Cloud DNS. A solution that is ideal for organizations looking to streamline their application deployment and management 
with a globally delivered SaaS-based DNS and automation from F5, helping them achieve high performance, responsive AV experiences with consistent, scalable DNS functionality. F5 Distributed Cloud DNS provides just that, so that you can deliver fast, secure, and available application across hybrid and multi-cloud environments. Thanks for watching.